welcome back to my channel okay so today i am answering a question that i get a lot a lot no not so much from people that watch me on youtube well some from people that watch me on youtube and also people that i know in person a lot of people ask me how do you do the back of your locks when you're trying to retighten them so today i'm going to share with you three ways that i can see the back of my head so that i can do my retightening when it's time to retighten my micro locks so if you are interested in watching go ahead and keep watching don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video go ahead and subscribe and thank you to all my old and new subscribers thus far and all of you that comment i love reading the comments and i appreciate them so much so if you're interested let's just get started <laughs> Okay, so my first way that I show you is the way that I usually, I don't want to say use the most, but I do use it pretty often and that is hooking it up to my computer. So you are going to need a few things. You're going to need a tripod, which I use to make the video, so I already have one, and preferably an adjustable one. Mine goes, because I make videos, mine goes six feet and I'll try to link it down below. But you just need one to, to be able to go above your head, like to get higher than your head. And then I have, um, of course, you need a computer if you're going to do the computer one. And you need a USB cord. You also need a USB cord for that one. And you also need quick play on your computer or I don't know. I have an Apple computer, so I don't know what the other computers use. But yeah, I use Quick Play, so you would have to find out if you don't have an Apple computer, what allows you to mirror um, a device like a cell phone or iPod or whatever so that you can see the back of your head and you can use a camera on that device and then Quick Play or whatever app is on your computer that lets you see the back on your other device. So let me show you how that works. Okay, so here is my tripod. So I take my tripod and I hook my phone up to it or my iPad, whatever I like the best. I use the um, USB cord, like the charging cord that it comes with. And I turn the camera on and make sure that it's facing me. And of course, this USB cord has to be hooked into the computer in the back. So that's hooked in there. And then once it is in the computer, I set the tripod up and behind the chair that I'm gonna sit in. And then once it's in a computer, you find your quick player. Sometimes you have to go to the launch pad at the bottom, but find quick player and go ahead. It will pop up whatever you have saved. I just cancel out. I press file at the top and new movie recording. And when I do that, it's going to pop up a video, but since my phone is connected, it actually will pop up what's on my phone. And if it's the camera, then it will show me on the camera. Now, make sure you click that little arrow and press your phone or recording device. And then you will see yourself when you sit in that chair or whatever chair you have. You'll see yourself and you can be able to see um what you are doing in the back of your head. Now this I recorded last time I did my retie and I just recorded what was on the screen. So this is actually what is on my computer screen, this big blown up picture of the back of my head. And then the next way to do it is to actually hook it up to your TV and if you are somebody who has like a any other smartphone besides Apple, um, you could just mirror it. So if you get your phone and a tripod and your TV, as long as you got those three things, you can hook that up. So I'll go ahead and show you how to do that. But if you are like me, well, I won't show you how to mirror it because you might be like me rather, and you have a stinking iPhone, um, it doesn't mirror as easily. So I use, again, you need the tripod and you need the TV, of course, and you need an adapter for Apple, like an Apple adapter that lets you hook up Apple devices to a TV and you need an HDMI cord. And let me 
me show you how to hook that up so that you can see it on the TV. And I really like this way because you can kind of sit down and relax like anywhere you want and kind of watch TV that way. All right, so if I'm hooking it up to the TV, I use my phone, most likely, or the iPad, whatever. Make sure the camera's on, facing outwards towards me. Get my adapter piece for the iPhone and iPad and the HDMI cord, hook it up to here. Hook it up to the back of your TV as well. Set it right in back of whatever you're gonna sit down in. For me, it's my couch. So then I sit down on my couch. Uh, I need to make sure that my TV setting is on the correct one. So for me, it's HDMI one. So that's already selected. I select that one and it will show whatever is connected to the HDMI cord which in this case is going to be the cell phone. And don't forget to thumbs up and like this video, y'all. This editing is going to be crazy. I didn't even do it yet, but it's just so many parts to this, and I thought it was going to be an easy thing, and it's not. So please, go ahead and thumbs up this video so you can show me that you understand my hard work. Um, and yes, go ahead and subscribe and share this video. Share this video with anybody you think would be interested because it's not only good for like retying your locks, it's good for when you have to style the back of your hair, period, and you just want to see the back of your head. And this is one way that you can do it to style the back of your head when you're trying to do it yourself. And then my last way to do it is to do it with um, in front of a mirror. But I don't have another mirror. If I did, I would use that. So if you have like another mirror that you can hang up somewhere and it kind of moves around, then I would put the mirror like on my door or whatever and hang it up that way. I have seen some people who have locks use that. So you can go on Amazon and check out some of those like threefold uh, mirrors that they have. And um, but yeah, for me, I just kind of use my iPad. Same thing I use my videos. I use my iPad, put it again on the top of the tripod, and then set it up behind me, and then I can see in the mirror. All right, and this way is a little easier to set up. It's just a tripod and whatever you're using to see in, whether it's your cell phone, iPad, whatever. And yes, if I set this up behind me, when I stand in front of the mirror, I can see myself in the our phone or the iPad. Usually I use my iPad because it has a bigger screen. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I'm hoping to also make shorts um, in case you like need a quick refresher on it. So hopefully you'll get shorts soon if you don't get those first. But yeah, those are the three ways that I like to see the back of my head. My most favorite way is um, I have two favorites. I really like when it's hooked up to the TV and I really like when it's hooked up to my computer. The reason why I like the computer the most or the reason why I like the computer as one of the most is because when I'm like serious, when I'm like, I need to get this done, like I need to get this done. Um, then I need to be like sitting up and like into it. And that's usually when I do the front in front of the bathroom by the mirror, or I do it in front of the computer because that gets me done the fastest. Cause I'm like more alert the way I'm sitting. But if I feel like, like relaxing, taking my time with it, or, you know, I don't have anywhere to go, that type of thing, then I usually do it on a couch and I pull my TV close to me and I hook it up to the TV. So those are my most favorite ways. But yes, and then the other thing I wanted to bring up was that um, with it being more so on a computer, sometimes with the TV, but more so on a computer, it's kind of like things are backwards. So when you are working on your left side, sometimes to you in the screen, it looks like it's your right side. So sometimes I do get a little annoyed trying to figure out, wait, am I really on the left? Am I really on the right? Or the piece that I want, like, where is it? Because I know what I'm feeling on my head, but it shows the opposite on the screen. So I would say in that sense, um, using like a mirror, if like that annoys you too much, um, you can always use the mirror that some people use. Some people use a, you know, like a mirror that folds into three, or you could use, you know, your iPad or something or your phone or whatever standing in front of a mirror. But I think the mirror is a little bit easier with that. And if I am on a computer, I obviously, I'm not just going to look at my hair the whole time. So I really like the computer because I can have two screens working. I can have quick play working and I can also have um, like 
Amazon or Netflix, something like that working too. And I can have two screens and I can look at my hair on one side and watch the movie on the other side. So that's why it's one of my favorites as well. If I do it on the TV, I cannot... Well, if I do it on the TV, then I have to have like another device like my iPad or something where I'm watching movies and things on and then my hair is projected on the TV. And I do like the TV because the TV is big. The TV is a big, big screen. So it's like no guessing of what's going on. It's a big screen. And if you watch some of my retie videos, I definitely have done some with in front of the TV for you to check that out. And I almost forgot to mention that I do have a light, so I will show you that. And it has a bendy like part on it, and I usually put that behind um, the iPad or the iPhone. It just get, adds more light to the back of my head so I can see a little bit better. You can also do that. Um, again, it's another one of those things. It could be a hassle, though, because it like takes the time to set up the light in the tripod. So, yeah, but that is what I do. And... Also, with my tripod, the reason why I really like this one is, one, it goes up to six feet, so that's awesome um, for recordings. But again, that has a bendy piece on it as well, and you could use that to kind of bend it down towards your head when you're kind of like at the top of it or the, the back, but still kind of the top, and you need it to kind of bend instead of just be straight. So that really helps to have both of those bendy pieces as well. But yeah, those are the ways that I like the most. And yes, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you subscribed if you haven't already. I hope that you are subscribed, that you're enjoying the content. Any other questions, videos, suggestions on other videos you would like me to do, go ahead and comment down below. And of course, always just comment down below and say hi. So thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you give me a thumbs up. And until next time.